beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Ephesians chapter 1 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Verse 3. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. 5. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace through which he had made us accepted in the beloved seven in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace verse eight in which he had abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence now i like you to be careful just look at verse 9 and 10 and 11 very carefully having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had purposed in himself what is that mystery verse 10 that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in christ both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him verse 11 in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him that worketh all things after the counsel of his own will that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in christ in whom you in whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after ye believed ye were sealed with the holy spirit of promise 14 who is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory hallelujah please look up i'm going to be sharing briefly on the eternal plan of god the eternal counsel of god very briefly and then i'd like us to pray hallelujah it's important for us to know where we are going with all of our prayer and fasting and and um, vigils and spiritual equippings and preparations why do we do all of these things i mean everywhere around the body of christ you find believers preparing ourselves hallelujah we're praying fasting building in the word abstaining from all appearances of evil to what end are all of these preparations i need us to understand because when we do not understand the big picture, the eternal plan of God, we will not value the things that we are doing and the spiritual investments that we are making. Hallelujah. It's paramount that we understand 
that we're not just fasting and praying because we want to get to heaven are you listening to me there are so many believers who do all kinds of religious activities and all we are thinking about is just heaven heaven now heaven is wonderful are you listening to me we're all going there but I need us to understand that beyond the experience of heaven there is a prophetic destiny are you following now this is the eternal plan of God God had an intention in his heart hallelujah before Adam came, before the pre Adamite dispensation, God had an intention in his heart. And that intention, although it seemed to have been corrupted by the, fall, the fallen race and all of this, is still an intention in God's heart. And according to the power of his counsel, it will still come to pass. Hallelujah. And so we must come to a point where we understand God's universal agenda otherwise all we'll be thinking about is to pray and um, uh, get married have children get old and waiting for two angels to pick us and take us to heaven there's more say after me there's more, there's more. the bible tells us there's more hallelujah and paul is attempting to communicate the counsel of god to the ephesian church letting them know that there was an intention in the heart of man hallelujah and that intention must be satisfied you know we live in a generation where we do not realize that God also has a need hallelujah we are full of our needs and every time we go to God we go to God with our needs our prayers done there's nothing wrong with that Lord my this my that I pray you touch me touch my family but we must come to a point as you begin to rise and become mature and perfected you will also realize that God has a need are you following me now that while he is committed to meeting your need you must also be committed to meet his need that's what we call koinonia a sharing together a participation hallelujah and God will never rest until his need is met he has a need hallelujah and Paul begins to give us a prophetic picture of the counsel and the plan of God he said that it is God's intention that all things will come under Christ remember that song he's changing everything in obedience to Christ he's transforming everything in obedience to Christ He's renewing everything in obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. So that all things will come under Christ. And now I want to explain to you the structure. Jesus Christ, the one who we call the Christ, to achieve the eternal purposes of God, he came under submission. To the government and the authority of his father i like you to listen very carefully the bible makes us to understand that although he was equal with god philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 hallelujah that he considered it not a thing to be grasped but he humbled himself hallelujah although he is also god co-equal in power and authority but he chose to come under the governing influence of his father are you following me now and so, by reason of coming under the governing influence of the Father, a name was given to him. And the Bible says, at the mention of that name, every knee must bow of things in the heavens, of things on the earth, and of things under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Are you following me now? And then, when Jesus resurrected, he brought the church into a new dimension of glory and the, the pattern is that the church will now come under the lordship of christ are you following me now so christ comes under the lordship of god and then the church comes under the lordship of christ and as a reward for coming under the lordship of christ he gives us his spirit the ability to make the world come under the lordship of the church are you following me now that's the eternal counsel of the father that Christ becomes the head of all things and the only
only way he has to become the head is when he has a body hallelujah the only way he is head is when there is a body and so he brings those who have been alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and binds us together by his spirit and calls us the body that validates that Christ is head without the body Christ cannot be head are you following me now so that Christ sits in a position where he is head of all things and all of the spiritual preparations all of the fastings the prayers the revivals the revelation the spiritual encounters are all to this end that we be empowered and be equipped to so conquer the world and bring it to a point where they will acknowledge the authority and the government of the church and then because we are under the authority of Christ we will not take the glory for ourselves and will let men know that Christ is King hear me this is the need of the Father and the Spirit is on earth to promote this singular agenda bringing all things to the Lordship of Christ hallelujah it's important we understand this in our honest pursuits for the anointing for prosperity for power for influence we all want to be great we all want to be successful we all want to be celebrated and praise the lord he's teaching us these principles hallelujah we all pray in tongues but this is useless if we all pray in tongues for hours and days without understanding the eternal counsel of god hallelujah so every one of us is pressing that it's a big picture it's a prophetic agenda hallelujah and every one of us we have different roles to play in bringing that prophetic agenda to pass hallelujah then the bible says in ephesians chapter 4 that to this end he gave gifts to the body he gave apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers and pastors to do what to equip the church to the point where they not only understand the universal counsel of god but they are equipped to bring that prophecy into a reality the fivefold ministry is not supposed to equip men to go to heaven we are supposed to equip men to satisfy the heart of god so that heaven will come to the earth i need to tell you this brothers and sisters that our going to heaven is real there's this rapture and we're going to heaven but did you know that we are coming back hallelujah revelations a new heaven and a new earth a holy city coming down then we will rule and we will reign with him so i like you to know that there is an agenda that is even bigger than this age the church age when we realize this agenda then our pursuit will become eternal are you following me when you realize this agenda money will not cripple you are accomplishing this agenda the anointing will not cripple you are accomplishing this agenda all of them will be factors that will equip you to accomplish this agenda the reason why there's so much abuse of the anointing so much abuse of wealth and prosperity so much abuse in the body of christ is because we only equip men on how to get the blessings but we do not let them know the purpose of the blessings in their lives so we have everybody running and tightening you find every bucket and drop it and then you are expecting a hundredfold harvest and then it comes now you're rich you're a millionaire and the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them because they do not understand that the purpose of this world is to satisfy the original intention the eternal plan of the father hallelujah then we cry for the anointing and pray in tongues for one year then a substance of glory comes upon us and we have the power to do great and mighty things and men begin to build empires
empires for themselves forgetting that there is an intention in the heart of the father and that intention is that the church will bring all things to the obedience of Christ hallelujah and there is need for a reorientation because until we have this mindset we will not enjoy certain blessings and privileges that will come from heaven and it's always been my goal to educate God's people on the purpose of the blessings we have many believers who know their rights in Christ there are few believers who know their responsibilities in Christ I shall not die and then many people stop there you must finish that scripture but leave to declare the works of the Lord amen until you finish that second line you are not supposed to say amen hallelujah because it's a complete it's a complete ministry God is preserving you not so that you live and just be a liability to the kingdom hallelujah so if you are not leading to declare the works of the Lord you have no right to stop demons from oppressing you let me tell you something there is a dimension of your life there is a realm that you get to where your ultimate desire is to satisfy the need of the father when you get to that point God can allow a nation die so that you will live you are too relevant for the accomplishment of that prophecy there are some people that satan cannot toy about it's not just about their prayer life they have come to a point where losing them is like losing a generation they are called choice souls hallelujah your degree of contribution to the advancement of the kingdom is so 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 evident there are some people satan doesn't want to backslide he wants them to die there's no point backsliding they are so much a threat to the kingdom of darkness satan does not want them to backslide just wants them out of the way and i don't know how many of us belong to that category that you can look at the lord and say lord in all honesty I can say I'm living today promoting your kingdom I'm not just talking about preaching and doing ministry on stage I'm talking about actively contributing your quota to bring all things to the Lordship of Christ so that he becomes King of Kings and Lord of Lords there's no controversy about his place in heaven that's the reason why heaven is in a state of excellence the controversy is here on earth while he's saying i am king there exists a system babylon a system that does not come under the lordship of christ a system that contends and argues with the fact that jesus is lord and that system is in our education in banking finance family politics everywhere there is a contention about the lordship of christ and he's banking on the church to demonstrate to the world that he is lord if the church fails to conquer the world system then truly jesus is not lord the proof that he's lord is that we conquer this system not run away from the system but that's what many people want to do when we run away from the system in ancient times the kingdom or the city that runs away from war is the losing side the victors don't run they stand and conquer but we have many believers running away from the system and as we are running we say he is lord there's corruption i say me i am not you're, you've got to conquer the system that's why i say you are the light not of the church you are the light of the world you are the one who represents the government of heaven you are the light you are the light then he says let your light so shine not before angels let your light so shine before men that they may see and in their seeing they will glorify your father so we have a ministry say after me i have a ministry a 
concept of ministry has been terribly lopsided for many of us these are the ministers the great men and women of God unfortunately I need you to understand that these are the gifts that prepare the ministers you are the ministers that's what the Bible says that he gave gifts the fivefold ministry are the gifts that prepare the church for the work of the ministry when you live in a system and evil fails to prevail in that system you are an ambassador you have conquered that system and brought it to the obedience of Christ so we are not just talking about having a ministry and having plenty church members and congratulating yourself no there's more than that we are talking about apostolic invasion taking cities where by reason of your being in a place a territory becomes a no go area for evil we have too many believers who do not think society we only think church so our society is corrupted and polluted in Nigeria for instance there's corruption everywhere and even if you have not participated I have you I have a question for you tonight what have you done about it many believers like being passive just don't trouble me leave me alone you cheat and just go but the Lord needs men and women who will not only understand his agenda for theoret for what do you call it theoretical and theological purposes so that when you stand on stage you can articulate the mysteries of scripture no you must be doing doing your doing is proof that he is lord hallelujah we need men and women who will truly stand as beacons of light this is the concept of the kingdom this is the concept of government we need men and women who when you become a multi-millionaire will not mourn another liability men and women who can stand for righteousness men and women who can stand for truth Understanding that even if no one sees you to reward you here on earth it is your contribution to the advancement of his kingdom many times when we do nice things we always want people seeing and rewarding us there and then but when we are obsessed with the universal agenda of God you will pump in your millions you will pump in your anointing and nothing will take his place in your life nothing came to a point in my life when I said Lord deliver me from ministry and the nonsense that goes on in ministry it's a wonderful thing when you are honored in ministry they bring water for you nice cup and ushers do everything they pick up your Bible for you and you are the man of God until you are obsessed with the agenda of the kingdom such kind of people will not last in the next revival of the spirit that is coming it's got to be men and women who understand that everywhere they are, God is. Hallelujah. And that we are ambassadors. We are ambassadors. Ambassadors representing the government of heaven. Contribution our quota to satisfy the need of our Father's heart. To bring all things under the obedience of Christ the King. So every time God uses me to do great things and I say Lord be glorified I take a step to satisfy the father's need every time my brother does something excellent and the world looks at him and while they want to praise you and lie down and lick your legs you direct them and say Christ the King we need men and women who are ushers not lords ushers who can tell them there is a greater one that's what john the baptist did he came to a point where he said truly he must increase but i will decrease we need men and women who will step out of the stage and say lord i 
I will contribute my quota. I want the world to see you and not me. And let me tell you something. God is not a selfish God. So he designed his system in such a way that before the world gets to him, they will pass through you. That's the reason why they need a believer. Hallelujah. When you preach, when you minister, when the Holy Spirit dispenses his anointing through you, all of these things are acts of God's giving heart so that you will be a partaker of his glory, of his power, of his kingdom. But he expects something in return, that he be glorified. That he be glorified. Now that I have access to you, before you come to a point where we cannot reach you in Aso Rock, let's keep this revelation to our minds. Hallelujah. That whatever you become in this life, and whatever you have in this life, is only a means to an end. No matter how much millions you have in this life, no matter the kind of anointing you have, no matter the level of success in life and ministry, is only a means to an end. And the end is to meet the need that is in the Father's heart. That all things in this system come under the authority of Christ the King. And I've made up my mind that for every second that I have breath in my nostrils, I will press to that point where the world will see him as king. One of the best music groups I love is Hillsong. I have never been disappointed at any of their songs. You know many songs, you hear nonsense, then you hear one breath of fresh air. They just exalt Jesus Christ properly. I have never been disappointed because they are men and women who have committed themselves to exalt Jesus. How many of you have listened to Hill songs? How many of you listen very, very well? Get more of their tapes. Get more of their CDs. All their songs directly exalt Jesus. You see the skill, the excellence, but then they let men see the king. There needs to be an understanding in our minds. Because let me tell you something. The sovereignty of God is about to break into the earth. And many people will be trusted with things that their prayer life cannot give. They will be trusted with things that their word life cannot give. Unusual realms by the sovereignty of God to enable us accomplish this agenda. I am convinced that nobody's prayer and word life is sufficient to equip us enough for the kind of revival that is coming. All that we are doing are seeds to demonstrate our willingness to be used by God. The sovereignty of God is what covers for our inadequacies and brings us to a point. And let me tell you something. There is a ticket to receive these sovereign giftings of God. Availability is not the only thing. I know that it's, it's wonderful to say, okay, all God needs is availability. But availability is not enough. Availability and total surrender. Say after me, total surrender. Total surrender, total surrender is not giving your life to Christ. Total surrender is Jesus being Lord of your life. That's the concept in the baptism that you are immersed in a flood and they no longer see you they see only that water hallelujah the lord wants to bless us the lord wants to empower us the lord wants to energize us let me tell you something you have not seen the anointing until we step into the mantles that the Lord will be bringing upon us. You have not seen levels of influence. We will command the, the respect of kings. But God is asking a question. Are you ready to satisfy my need? For many of us, our needs, oh God, give me this, give me that, and that's wonderful. But do you know that God has a need? Hallelujah. Every time he looks down to earth, he's searching for men and women who are busy here and there satisfying the need of the master. The need of the master is not miracles. The need of the master is beyond 
just saving sinners are you listening to me all those things are wonderful and they are vital components of the kingdom but the greatest need in the heart of the father is that the church come to a point where we can truly allow Christ to be head there are many people that have crime and they are forming heads in the church the hand now wants to be the head the leg now wants to be the head but the Bible tells us there is only one Lord there is only one faith there is only one baptism hallelujah and God is asking us a serious question tonight do you know my universal agenda do you know why I am anointing you do you know why I'm saving you from death how many of you heard I was so touched sitting when I heard um, our brother sharing the testimony of his mom why do you think God kept you alive let me let me ask us an honest question why do you think God kept you alive I finished a vigil yesterday wrong I know people who came back from crusades on their way back they died I know many prayer warriors who are in the grave right now I know many word addicts one of them is Charles Finney's Dix a man who knew Genesis 1 to Revelations 22 of heart do you know the Bible that much at least the scriptures and he didn't just have the head knowledge he had the revelation every time I hear of the death of someone I ask myself Lord am I being relevant such that if we are to downsize people on earth will I still qualify and step forward hallelujah there are many of us that are full of our personal agendas I want to be this I want to be that there's nothing wrong except that if your pursuit will not meet the heart of the father I can tell you what the end is frustration that's why we have people who have tried everything tried money tried education tried marriage tried children tried power tried position influence and anything that life can offer but until we meet the need of the father to understand that we are ambassadors representing a kingdom and that we are supposed to conquer our territories and bring all things to the lordship of christ and let me tell you something frankly brothers and sisters christ can do it without the church he just chose to bring us so that we be partakers of this building process he said if you will not praise me there is in me the capacity to make stones to do what i've assigned you to do so never for once think god is crippled of power to compel the earth to come under his lordship those who have been privileged to have out of body experiences every time they saw the might of god they wondered why the earth is still suffering because it looks like at the snap of his finger he can bring everything in obedience to christ but he's letting us be partakers of his glory so he makes you a millionaire so he makes you a great vocalist so he makes you anointed so he makes you an entrepreneur and what do we end up doing just representing our own selves and our own kingdoms but the lord is calling us tonight that god has an agenda is what fasting about is what praying about is what abstaining from evil is what every preparation to come to a point where i satisfy the need jesus satisfied the need of the father's heart he said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and the man in matthew 25 the parable of the talents when they came back he told one well done good and faithful servant well done i am pleased i am touched that you have met the need of my heart can i tell you something if this is your desire on the journey to accomplish that desire you will collide with the anointing 
you will collide with prosperity you will collide with favor you will collide with increase you will collide with grace grace unlimited all the people I know today all who have been mightily used by God as many as have studied their lives they were never thinking of ministry they were never thinking of anointing they were never thinking of power they just had a passion for the kingdom many of them would cry and say Lord use me and they will fast for reasons they cannot even explain and say Lord I, I want to make myself available and in doing that they collide with realms of intimacy and power that will cause them to shake our generations brothers and sisters tonight's teaching is a call the Lord is calling us not just to be possessors of things but to realize that he has a need in his heart so every time God blesses you as you rejoice in that blessing remember that that blessing is a tool to accomplish the need to satisfy the need in the heart of the Father his universal agenda and Paul poured out himself like a drink offering and at the end of his life he knew that he had contributed his quota to let the world see a dimension of the glory of God to bring all things I made up my mind that every environment I am in I will pour out my life in life and death to see that all things come under the logic of Christ and let me tell you this has nothing to do with ministry hallelujah we need men and women who will make up our minds and say I will hate what God hates I will love what he loves even if corruption is the order of the day I take a stand for the kingdom and I will let my environment you know listen let me tell you something you know the reason why God is talking to several people about being entrepreneurs because our standing for him is going to cost us something <laughs> I pray that the Lord will grant you revelation to understand what I'm saying that your your commitment to God and his agenda will cost you something for many people you will be sad from the companies you are working because you will just not permit corruption and they can't tolerate you did you know how corrupt our our systems are and God takes you to an office and you are seated there and millions are passing your desk and you are supposed to sign and you know that this is corruption at that point you have to choose you will not choose it here in koinonia you will choose it in the office there and let me tell you it's not a compulsory choice because you can align with the system or stand at all costs to contend and say in doing this i will not bring all things under the lordship of christ and no matter what it will cost me i am making a stand for the kingdom and let me be honest with you there are many of our parents that where they are today is not because they are not serious people is the price of their contribution to satisfy the eternal heart of god the counsel to bring to pass his prophetic agenda that's why the bible says you should judge not when you see someone going through something before you open your mouth and start speaking shut your mouth and understand what the person is doing because i tell you the truth there are men who have offered their lives and their blood to see that the the satisfaction that the master's heart is satisfied for such people titles cannot have an influence over their lives again for such people no amount of naira and copper will have a place in their hearts for such people no amount of influence will take his place and if ever i have a prayer i told god i said lord take my life one day to stop representing you take my life see through prayer one day for me to stop representing you if i'm going to stop representing you on Thursday, 
on Wednesday. Let me quietly go home. Yes, the world will give all kinds of reasons. Some will say, we knew it is too busy. Others will say, I have I need whatever it is. Let me quietly go. But that I cannot stand it. One day in my life where I'm not representing his government directly has nothing to do with ENI, has nothing to do with Koinonia, has nothing to do with ministry. It's a cry in our hearts. He's bringing everything in obedience to God. So this is a training ground. God is preparing us for the things that are coming. And I'm announcing to you, great glory is coming. However, you must be prepared to use all of the blessings that God will bring to you as tools to satisfy the need of the Father's heart. To so represent him in every area of your life to represent his government and let the world see jesus let the world see jesus not joshua selma not the worship team not koinonia if all of our glory and crown is that many people came for this meeting tonight our glory and crown that we have good sound equipment then let me tell you something that's a testimony of the prophet that said woe you know what woe is i love him more than anything he can give me in this life let me tell you something i told him i said lord if you do not bless me with anything in this life it's too late i can't leave you again even if you tell me my name is not in the book of life no problem so long as i love you i will go all the way they like you there's no one beside you I leave the earth to praise your name I leave the earth to worship you who is the like you who is the like you there's no To worship you. So my ministry on earth today. To lead the end. To worship you. Who is the like you? Who is the like you? There's no one to be compared with him. But the world does not understand it. So we are here to lead the earth. We are here to set the pace. I lead the earth. In every system to see that he is king, to see that he is Lord, to see that he is Lord. Who is the like you? Who is the like you? No one beside you. No one beside you. I live here to pray to you.
in my life to worship you. I need the earth. raising a generation of men and women who will not compromise for money who will not compromise for power who will not compromise for influence tonight is a commitment the Lord is crying with a need in his heart from the throne there is a cry there is a cry there is a cry a search for men and women who will allow Christ to be the head of the church. To worship you, to worship you. To worship you. God has a cry. To worship and you. And tonight, to worship He's letting us have His cry in our spirits that He also has a need. To worship you. To worship you. To worship you. Oh Lord. To worship you. To worship you. can God trust you look at me this, this is a serious meeting tonight we are going to pray but there is a question it's, see hear me God is not withholding the anointing can he trust you God is not withholding the wealth can he trust you God is not withholding the influence he's not withholding the favor can he trust you? There are many of us who shout, Lord, I will serve you. I will give you everything. I will let the world know. And just a little influence God brings to your life. And his government cannot be seen again. John the Baptist said, I must decrease. That he will increase. To let the nation see him. Hallelujah. We're going to sing that song, just a part of the song. Distant shores and the islands will see your as it rises from us. As it rises from us. Distant shores. Distant shores and the islands will see your As it rises from your church. The power that you get from. And come on, rise up on your feet and your let's pray. And say, Lord, in my generation, in this time, time, in this dispensation, I will let my world see you. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Wherever you send me to, wherever you send me to, in ministry, in business, in politics, in my home. You have a need. I will stake my life to see that the nations come to the Lordship of Christ. Parakete balarabasa. I say, Lord, we will bring joy to you. We will bring joy to you. We will bring joy to you. We stake our lives to bring joy.
joy to you. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, I obtain grace to be a true ambassador. I understand that you have a need. I understand that you are blessing me to promote your kingdom. Oh Lord, we ask for the nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord told me something. I've shared it here. Friends, I submit to you. People ask me, what's the secret of this? What's the secret of that? What's the secret of power? What's the secret of grace? Now here and there, there are principles to follow. But the greatest secret I know is to win the heart of God with your commitment. It defies every law that I know. If you win the heart of God, he said, I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil, I have anointed him as a reward for finding a man after my own heart. How come there are six billion people on earth, but God is still searching for men, and he rejoices when he finds one. I told God, find a vessel. Oh, find a vessel. Find a vessel. Find a vessel. Find a vessel in me. We are going to raise a cry. We we'll hold our hands all over us. We pray in the spirit. We are going to be saying, Lord, grace to satisfy the need in your heart. Grace. Come on, pray. Go ahead and play the instruments. Pray. Grace. 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 Sheka bariata balara. The church is praying. Grace. Let grace be released upon us to represent you. Grace to be ambassadors. Grace. Grace to stand for truth. Grace to stand for righteousness. Grace to stand for integrity. Grace to represent this government. Grace. Grace. We will not compromise. Grace. We are resolute. Grace. We are an army that can be trusted. Grace, grace, we shout grace. We are the generation that will not fail the king. We are the generation that will not fail the king. We are the generation. There is a mandate upon us. There is a prophetic word. We will not fail. Grace, to stand to the end. Grace, in the midst of corruption. Grace. In the midst of perversion, grace. In the midst of compromise, in life and in death, grace. 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 Shekabariyadabalabos. Go ahead and obtain grace. And say, Lord, I know if I'm set to meet your need, you will meet my need. All oh, the distant shores, the islands of nations, they will see our light. They will see the light. Our generation will beam this light bright and strong. We will raise a banner, not a banner of denominationalism, not a banner of our personal accomplishment, a banner, Christ the King, Christ the Lord. This is a generation that will seek the face of the God of Jacob. Beyond money, beyond power, beyond prosperity, Beyond influence, beyond marriage, beyond favor, beyond education, beyond success, beyond accomplishment, the need, the eternal counsel of God. Muimaka, Muimaka, 
Muimaka sujada Muimaka 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 Nigeria says, Arise, O oh compatriots. Nigeria's call obey. He said to serve our father's land with love and strength and faith. He said, The labors of our heroes past shall not be in vain. Tonight I tell you the anthem of heaven. Arise, O oh generals. Arise, O oh great ones. There is a call from the throne. Arise, champions of destiny. Arise, media giants. Arise, business giants. Arise, apostles. Arise, prophets. Arise, pastors. Arise, leaders. Arise, politicians. Arise, entrepreneurs. There is a call from the throne. There is a call for a generation. There is a call. He needs you. He's crying for you. You are relevant. You are relevant. He needs you. The kingdom needs you. The church needs you. You are relevant. There is a cry. Tonight is a cry of the spirit. It's a cry of the spirit. It's a cry. Myself away. That's the last song of commitment tonight. 
Lord, I, I give, give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Make it a cry tonight. Lord, I, I give myself away. I give myself away. So you, so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away. That's what the Spirit is asking tonight. I give my heart away. Will you give your heart away? So you, so you can, can use me. Will you give your faith away? Yes, you have made greater accomplishments. Oh Will you give your faith away? Yes. So you, you can use Oh, arise tonight. Oh, I give myself away. Champions, leaders, I give myself revivalists. So you can use the Lord. Custodians, Lord, I give myself revival. Custodians of the coming moon. Yes, I give myself away. Greater than the Azusa Street revival. So you. Can you use me? Greater. I give. I give myself away. Lord, I give. Lord, I give myself. I give myself away. So you can use so me. You can use me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. God has been examining our hearts because of his glory that is coming upon us. I don't know any greater way to prepare for the glory. I don't know any greater way to prepare for revival. We are not just a bunch of visionless people trying to be successful. We are men and women who are obsessed with the agenda of heaven. And that for every breath we take on the earth, it will be accounted for by our tenacity and sacrifice. Hallelujah. Father, tonight, together as a church, we cry. We are making declarations of faith that we will stand for you. We will not just watch evil happen and be passive about it. Lord, as you grant us the grace, we will break through barriers of nations. As you grant us the grace, we are making commitments to represent you, to let the world see the fullness of who you are, to bring the systems under the Lordship of Christ. That in our generation we will erode corruption from Nigeria. That in our generation we will stand as beacons of light. Lord, you can trust us. We will not fail. We are making commitments under heaven. That as you grant grace, we will not fail. As you grant grace, we will not fail. In our homes and our families, our children will only know that divorce was an ancient thing. Our children and families will only know. 
everything we did not benefit from our generation will represent and we will let our children give you glory the love for Christ will be the norm in our society our generation will enforce it our generation will buy MTV buy channel O buy all the systems let me tell you we are coming if our hearts are right there is no amount of wealth that will not be given there's no amount of access anointing power that will not be given now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of god but they are never benefactors of that grace so jesus began to teach us that the holy spirit has a ministry to believers he has a ministry to unbelievers and jesus said that he will reprove the world the fallen system of men of sin of righteousness of judgment and then to the believers he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told i represent the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit to you but shortly i'm going to go away but i will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the greek word alos paracletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function it says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles 
Are we together? Most people, Jesus, help me. Jesus, save me. I know that it looks emotional, but Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to walk with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing do you know what how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience there is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness the waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end and you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, Now the earth was dark and formless and all of that, just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, family scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, He's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, Let there be. And there was. And he said it was good. Remember, the goodness of God cannot be seen outside of the Holy Spirit. The only reason why it became good was because of the Holy Spirit. 
I look at my life today and I imagine what a failure I would have become without him. It's not about oratory. No. It's his presence. We are all gathered today, scattered around and people following, connected from all over the world today from this location because of the Holy Spirit. When you believe him in your life, sister, he will turn you into a wonder. I'm telling you this. When you believe him in your life, this is not the issue of being a Christian. This is an issue of saying, Holy Spirit, you were sent by Jesus to be an extension of his ministry. Everywhere you see the name Jesus in the experience of the disciples, you can safely replace it with Holy Spirit. Aside from salvation, the work of salvation on the cross. When there was no wine, they ran to Jesus. So when there is no beauty and freshness in your life, you run, spirit of the living God. You represent Jesus for me. Jesus is not physically here in Cana, but I come to you. And he says, I, you are correct. I can bless you. When Jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle, he said, why sittest thou idle? They said, no man employ us. He said, go. And a job came. So you go to the Holy Spirit and say, Spirit of the living God, this joblessness, you represent Jesus to me. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes, there are deaf ears, there are all kinds of people. The power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about power shortly. But I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit. It has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality, but that you can come to the Holy Spirit. Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face. Like some of you have friends. You've had friends for years. You've never seen their faces. Yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses. You know when they are angry. You know where they are happy. Yet everything was through chatting. It is possible to know a man without seeing his face. Hmm. How could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do with that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah. 
until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high and then this life that is an utter wilderness now becomes counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest he truly brings beauty and glory I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you, do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you see li listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where it looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy I'm telling you this listen to what I'm telling you if you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life listen twice close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration I know this about him he's brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness lord you are proving over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark i remember in, two, in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in reinhard bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation 
but I was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden I took a bold step as soon as I opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building I remember one time I he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and I said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please I, I, I don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the Holy Spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me God is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him I remember those nights when I'll just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smells you, even to the farthest part, they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman then phones just came out and they were making calls somebody whose spine was fractured remember that miracle the guy's spine was broken into pieces completely and all of a sudden it was with that call it was in the night i was going to browse and then pray and all of a sudden i called that gentleman with a bracelet confirmed here and i think then it was um the other place there and all of a sudden with just one single prayer brothers and sisters that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother the only thing i had was jesus the next day the way you gather for funeral that's how they gathered in that house the father had the boy was healed they said who did this they said it's one brother joshua not apostle all these showmanship people move around today they don't pray they don't fast no mentorship they don't listen to anybody they just brag around saying i saw a vision i had a dream i saw a ministry sit down and walk with him don't ignore him and look for fame you would die young you are brooding over every darkness you are causing Lights to shine from dark. You are brooding, brooding over my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues, and He said, Forget about that, a time will come when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking with, leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing would kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see god flogging an aspect you can come to church we teach about something else when you are done the holy spirit will say save that book we'll talk about it next year let's go back to what we are discussing and you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter allow him to work on you jesus jesus when he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life you will look at yourself and you will be afraid you say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding 
over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness there are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence till today they have not found it till today they would never focus on him because of money there are people who could not settle down they were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and pa and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence till today till tomorrow they are still suffering some of them are not even in the faith again please hear me koinonia let's settle down with the holy spirit let not just because you are a leader not just because you are a worker settle down with the holy spirit and say holy spirit i'm not in a rush with you do with me whatever jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become the holy spirit will turn your life around turn your wilderness you will look at yourself one day and say is this me lord what is this that you have done when gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far I have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the holy spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction divine direction guidance guidance and direction guidance and direction let me show you something that i found while i was studying exodus chapter 23 and verse 22 powerful scripture exodus chapter 23 exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you 
and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities 
three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture he says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow I keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear God because the Spirit of God will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is God I saw an accident but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it but I saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i uh have -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people. 
I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is blinking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that, oh God, superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people. That's why we pray. We don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen. The anointing is there to make it happen. Are we learning something? The voice of God must never comp um, must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think 21 or thereabout. Verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed to a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry... I remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean, if you give free materials like your salmon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication. But you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night, soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you 
is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabbala kotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 he says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a saint one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter one and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all they that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord I want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then I will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what Satan had every other thing is jargon he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces 
that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just coming and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabalakotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people i found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's walking with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habal is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist 
and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound go and ask them and nothing shall by any means whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level i say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cost never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12 what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba. there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them 
they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people i have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was right i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it, the, those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it god has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times i've had these testimonies some of you listening know it's true how many times angel appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave they come as human beings a service is going on or after a service give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go angels don't just act as if they are foolish they act in response to what the holy spirit tells them the anointing is the director 
of how and why angels function understand this is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me listen the third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence please believe it influence is not something you bully people to get influence is not an issue of age influence is not even an issue of i've traveled abroad there is an oil there is a grace he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness even god thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last one but god gives you a voice listen you know one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good, come. No, there is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting. Look, I, I don't play child's play. All that one is, 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 is complex. When that honor is on you, people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you. The anointing brings loyalty in a strange way. That's why God must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people. Listen, people don't just become loyal to a man just because. No, no, no. It's not about giving people money. You can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow. Loyalty is not just by faking. It's not even by wearing good clothes. You can wear anything you want to wear. There is an anointing. Politicians know this. That's why they go to Habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal. There are great leaders who oppress people. Pastors who oppress church workers. They are looking for loyalty. You are praying for somebody. You hear somebody say, Ah, Ejimi is praying for me. No! I'm the only one. You am the boss in this place. That's insecurity. This grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder. I have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows thereabout, seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah 
I travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question I think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on Facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and I told him I said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for Lord Rinsho Alakija or snapping with this person and I say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing Hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia i cannot meet apostle but i hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he said father i lift up my voice to you concerning this woman i hear that supernaturally they need five hundred thousand by ten o'clock tomorrow i agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert five hundred thousand dot she will run to you and say woman of god what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of god to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus 
they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus i agree with you i agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches and god will use it to help your various pastors you know that they are sincere some of them love god and they are crying for these dimensions but how to access it is what is not there and god says can you help that man of god he loves god but the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders the last thing that i'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of God and with all humility, my passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry. And it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully. That entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points. And increase your prayer life. That your prayer's time will be spent worshipping God. Not saying, oh God, this rent. Oh God, tea. Oh God, there is no sugar. And you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries. Oh, 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 oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. Oh.
this is how it works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of jesus tonight i declare that i'm tired of my current level i'm tired of where i am i'm tired of where my family has been kept tonight by your anointing lift me to a new dimension open your mouth and begin to pray new dimension in ministry new dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray hallelujah Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day tonight is that day and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, every curse, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment over my life, over my family, I declare that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Say in the 
name of Jesus. By the authority in the finished work of Christ. I declare to principalities, to powers, to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe every covenant every enchantment the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life I exempt myself lift your voice and pray every covenant Rika to kavala gatia, ito palate, shipata, ipara gatia, tala makosa, ipa la bada 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 bada, la bata peke tele bakavala gatia, ipo soto to petita, erika patota, ipamba kavala. Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every fail. Every that has covered my glory that has covered my every glory every veil every veil that has hijacked my honor that has hijacked my in the name of jesus in the name of I jesus i tear that veil to pieces lift your voice and pray cover your glory Jesus, arise shine Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing. Rise to destiny. Rise. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every aspect of my life. Rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish, Kish lost his donkey, it left him. It was his means of livelihood and it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. 
every access every access that left my life that left my life by the anointing by the anointing i call you back i call you lift your voice and begin to pray business opportunities educational opportunities i call you back i call you back i call you back I call you back. Shama la 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now not tomorrow listen now if you don't have faith for it now pray on something else are we together now there are things in the bible that say as they went but there are things that the bible say immediately listen release your faith i'm not a fool release your faith don't just sit down and say can god make a wilderness overnight Abba, we're talking of god here If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Hallelujah. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till 
the end of CGC fence. Overflow three is the main um, the 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 space outside there. Overflow four is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents we are going to pray just leave them don't worry leave them there we are going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray Please, no distraction. Forget about this is not husband and wife now. This is you standing between you and God. This is not neighbor. We came brothers and sisters. Leave anyone you came with. This is your destiny with God. Now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now. It's at this time where he told Elijah, if you can see. He was looking, but he said, if you can see. There are some of you, as this oil comes upon you, all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here yeah? we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor 
um, the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um, just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you make and hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest pick it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy.
to saga baraka to sodo prade galaba Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God. Defying all the laws of men. Defying the expectations of men. Rising by the spirit. Rising by the anointing. Rising by the spirit. Habarakata parakato sotobosh. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last. By the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You're doing something to your spirit man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders have been created, preaching your expectation and your results. Outside, pray. Those online, use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything 
by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity I have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree I speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of Jesus I command speed upon that document in the name of Jesus Christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ For some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament For some of you what you are lifting is a medical report is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now
there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results Amen. hallelujah Amen. i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1000 naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands I pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence 
everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me a few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command a sword of vengeance tonight i command a sword of vengeance tonight whoever has ignored you and trivialize the hand of god upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of god upon your life in the name of jesus christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break i believe in family i believe in honor one of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife they get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives i'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name yeah. hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up I believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances I decree and declare wherever you find your place I command you to rise above your equals rise above your contemporaries as a lecturer rise above your equals as a banker rise above your equals as a student rise above your equals they will seek counsel from you they will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for our finances thou hast caused men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place listen listen we are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry we are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if i've been nice to you you can say ah apostle you changed my life take time naira there is a reason why you bless you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love esau i hated you can be sitting down and god will raise somebody to rise up listen not only bless you once but say i want to make this an addiction a habit to bless you are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have seen the money that came through your skill congratulations where is the one that came through the finger of god you should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because i got a good job thank god for that this one came because i blessed a life i paid a graduate a student school fees now he's working and he has come back to say thank you this one came because i have a child the child has become responsible and he has come back to say mama na go day but show me the one that came from the finger of god that you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project cgc you can see this 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 is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us and honestly i didn't even plan this with any of them. i've not even seen the pastor as i just said this now everybody should be a part of this i know what the ministry koinonia will do i know what as a person i will do i'm encouraging you you can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service and you can discuss with them how do i get my seed ten thousand twenty thousand hundred thousand a million whatever amount and say look i want my seed to be here by the grace of god they are not looking for money to do this god has been faithful and they have been you can see the items that there is just i'm sure because of this program they decided to suspend what they are doing i'm just using an opportunity to tell you whoever you are make sure that you find a way of participating in this 
But let me tell you this. There is the finger of God. And I want to pray this. Because some of our families, nobody even went to school. So there is no issue of saying, Lord, give them a job. You see mama of 70 years. Which financial intelligence are you going to tell her? That our rewards in life, all that thing you are talking, she's just looking at you. What are you saying? My son, I am dying here. A landlord, a young boy of 25, wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years. By 9 o'clock tomorrow, mama, get out of my house. And she says, please help me. That one, you don't need a financial seminar. You need the finger of God. This is where most of our families are. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. I have seen this in my life. The finger of God was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life. The finger of God was designed to come through for you. Quarter to shame. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning from this night and all through this weekend. By men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before i command strange wealth by the finger of god i command strange wealth by the finger of god i prophesy to you right now listen i want you to believe me in the name of jesus a stranger you do not know you don't even know how he got your account number i compel them by the spirit to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the course of this prayer and fasting, a strange woman just called. She sent me a text and said, you don't know me, but I'm a businesswoman. Am I talking with Apostle? I said, yes. I thought she wanted me to pray for her. And he said, the Lord spoke to me that there is a seed that I should sow half of it to you half of it to the ministry i said madam no i don't do this i want to make sure people work with revelation why do you want to do this have you discussed this with your husband and she said sir with all due respect i'm a businesswoman i'm not a little child talking i have children that are adults so if i'm making a decision i know what i'm doing i said i'm so sorry man okay i prayed for her and sent her the text when i saw the alert of what this woman sent I sat down and I said, God, what is this? What is this? Madam, do you listen to Koinonia? No. Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever, Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever prayed for you? No. Did I bless you in any meeting? No. Say the finger of God. <laughs> See, most of us are used to suffering and hardship. We don't ever believe strangers can bless us. If I say, may God make your boss or your uncle, you say it makes sense. Because there's one money that I'm waiting for. Do you know me as a person? I have seen the account number of people in dreams. And God asked me to bless them. They were just sitting and they saw alerts. They don't even have my number to call me. It's just pure obedience. The same thing God has done for people towards me. Not everybody is disobedient. God has not yet directed them to you. That's why they've not responded. I pray again. Father, I cry to you. This grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of God, I declare, let it come upon everyone now. Every department, from prayer department to worship team, ushers, welfare department, every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life now this is the final thing please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray we cannot finish this whole seven days without something happen to your happening to your spiritual life something must happen to your prayer life something must happen to your access to light something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders something must happen to your church something must happen about the gift of the spirit some of you have not seen it in your life i want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not 
um, you are an usher, please. Because of what happens when I pray this kind of prayer, please. Whoever is under the anointing close to you, just help, just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Lift your hands. I want to pray. One minute and we're done. I long to see you that I might impart my God. Look at I'm seeing flames. This is what I'm seeing all over, right to the back. Flames. Lord Jesus, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the grace for prayer and supplication. There has to be someone it is looking for. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Take it now. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Inside, outside, overflow. One, two, three, four, five. Online. I release that grace. Enter a new dimension of prayer. A new dimension of fasting. In the name of Jesus. While well, still pray, lift your hands. Mm. I pray for you. You see, the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the Lord. God must give you the eyes of an eagle. The eyes that can see beyond just the letters. I pray for you. Fire will come upon your eyes. I command, may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation. Insights to scriptures. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gift of the spirit was given to the body of christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established i want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands i stretch my hands lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the spirit in the name of jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two three take that anointing i command the gift activated now the gift of prophecy step into that dimension the eyes that can see i open you up to visions in the name of jesus christ All those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catherine coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson i call you by the spirit I call for the John G. Lakes. I call for the William Samos. God's generals of our generation. Hear the clarion call in the spirit. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. Everyone in your family that has not given his life to Christ hear me if there is any unbeliever it could be your father it could be your mother I declare may the angel of the Lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of Jesus Christ whether they are Christians or not I pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to Christ Every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight I declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them one last prayer and we're done whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed
speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years there are people as i'm talking now you are not in any relationship but august will not meet you a single lady in the name of jesus there are young men as it is now you don't have up to two thousand naira in your account but in the name of jesus by june this year you will be having six seven figures in your account if there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of march whether you applied for the job or not i prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head. I thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Everyone keeps standing, scattered across this auditorium and the environment. Listen, we have been praying and fasting right from Saturday till now. There are people. You're listening to me from all the overflows and even the main auditorium. You know that you have not made your ways right with Jesus. Are we together now? You have not given your heart to the Lord. Probably it was during this fasting and prayer you were invited and you began to be interested in the things of God. Please no moving around. There are people like that. Now because of the crowds wherever you are, except for overflow one and overflow two, I mean over the main auditorium and overflow two you can come right here to the front but overflow one i will ask those who are giving their lives to christ and rededicating their lives to move to their projector stand overflow three move to your projector stand overflow four and five you can move to the projector stand of overflow two you are here you are saying apostle i want to give my heart to jesus give him everything totally or you are saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my ways are not yet right with him if you belong to that category as everyone is clapping for you quickly we have one minute for this make your way to the front quickly quickly koinonia appreciate them inside and outside quickly quickly is this the best that you can do if you are coming please run please run please run young and old jesus is calling Coming. keep clapping for them overflow one move to your projector stand overflow three and four move to the projector stand of overflow two overflow three those online from any nation you are following it's an opportunity for you the bible says ye must be born again i've seen the god of wonders work miracles for me those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically the mantles of the light ten more seconds All if you're coming quickly i want to see the power if you're coming quickly quickly make your way to the front hallelujah hallelujah now everyone who is standing in front of whatever overflows or standing in front of me lift your right hand and i want you to say this very quickly say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you someone guide the children they may not know what they are saying please someone guide them so that they are serious i believe in you 
that you are the son of God this night I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that forever I belong to you I am your child I am your son and your daughter in Jesus name let me pray for you father thank you for these ones that Jesus died for I stretch my hands over them and I declare their sins forgiven I declare that the power of sin the power of flesh the power of the grave is broken over their lives now that every legal access that Satan has over your life is broken destroyed forever in the name of Jesus Christ I empower you right now by the Spirit to live a victorious Christian life may the Lord bless you and increase you cause his face to shine upon you lift up his countenance and give you peace in the name of Jesus Christ now all those standing there there will be officials our PR people will be around helping you for those in here follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you ladies and gentlemen this way follow this gentleman and then all the various um, overflows just follow the person directing you turn to the back you should see someone waving his or her hands follow them and there will be a people to welcome you very very quickly dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.